Hi everybody, my name is um, Jerome Ray, and um, you're again joining me on my Jeronification channel um, here on YouTube. <clears throat> I have another image up of um, the Garden of Eden, and um, the reason why I keep going back to the Garden of Eden is because <clears throat> it is a historical referencing, well, ancient historical referencing um, point to where um, it is said that mankind was um, was created or supposed to have been created but I'm telling you that it's a referencing point not for all mankind but a specific mankind meaning that of our Caucasian um, counterparts and I'm saying this because I'm actually um, African American um, descendant of that of the African people um, basically what I'm telling you is that people like myself um, and other um, groups created there from our ape ancestor our African ancestor were genetically made in a process where um, genetic manipulations were occurring in a cult-like way um, from day one I'm, I'm alleging that our ancestors knew how to evolve from their original states through to other likenesses which is cause for what we see today and the witnessing of all of this is how on the continent of Africa you can see how the different likenesses of Africans actually there's a path from from the from the initial from the initial origins throughout to the Asian world and then finally to that of our Caucasian um, counterparts which are global I'm saying that the divide in our worlds, the separations, this is all lending to that of how mankind was created in order. Um, in understanding this, you understand a lot about actually of, of a lot of other things that which are going on, but I'm not going to go there because that's that's a never not never ending story. Anyway, I'm here because this is a German depiction of the Garden of Eden. A German depiction of the Garden of Eden. And it's by Lucas, um, I think it's Kranich, I might have forgot, I think I forgot an A there. Kranich der Artier. And I have that up there because you can Google this image. This is on uh, um, a popular search from, from, um, on Google, Wikipedia. And um, this is a popular search. And even the Germans, or this German artist, there's there's a higher sense of knowledge in all of our culture groups, where the artists, the famous art, meaning their schools, their mentors. And those in their higher groups of religion all knew how mankind evolved. Which is amazing because the masses of people do not know. The It's not in our educational systems. It's not in our mainstream science systems. And it's not in our mainstream medical systems. So that means that this information being denied from those areas which I just now stated are lacking fundamentally in the knowledge of who we are. Genetically, mentally, and pretty much physically. Imagine how 
far we are from reality and not knowing that where we evolved from, what creatures contributed genetically to the altering process of how we genetically became. There are only a select few royalty, those in the higher echelon of, of our ancient uh, rooted religion. These people enjoy that power behind, because there is power behind the knowledge in this. They can, I mean, just, just think about it. Things that, miracle medications, perhaps um, 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 cures for cancer, cures for diseases that were created in the beginning artificially. There are so many answers to all of our life questions that people have been asking all along that are right here before us. Our world is going to change. How fast it happens is how fast this information can get out. I'm going to take, I mean, the Garden of Eden, I can take that apart. Because it's encrypted. It's an encryption. It's a piece of the puzzle to who you are. And I can show you that, not only can I show you in these depictions, but I can show you that there is a knowledge, a global knowledge of this information which was hidden from you. In doing this, I'm hoping that there be a realization made that, hey, look, there's, this man is right. We need to stop, take a look, let's send this stuff out to the, the mainstream public. This stuff needs to be known. You are being destroyed anyway, genetically. Because everything that is being evolved from is being destroyed in the process of creating these new genes. Now, I'm going to be addressing other things too. What I want to do is because I know that this is a touchy subject. Because this man is supposed to be, I guess, God here and, and, and Adam and Eve being, um, being um, um, exiled, I guess, from the, um, from the, from the Garden of Eden. Let me show you what, what is actually really being stated here. So you can lose your fear of this. And I can do this with every piece of artwork that is famous and referencing what happened in the Garden of Eden. My position that it shows that these creatures genetically contributed to bridging over that of our ape, our African ancestor, which caused, subsequently calls for a breakdown in their genes. And that gene, because our, that the, the originating genes of mankind were a tough nut to crack. They threw everything at, genetically, including the kitchen sink, at breaking down these genes. This is why you have these likenesses now, uh, globally, that so are so from in physical appearance of that of their origins. Meaning that this is why you can see the trail of creation from that of our ape ancestor through to our... Um, darkest of um, um, African ancestor and then throughout through the continent of Africa and then Asian world and then finally to our Caucasian counterparts where you have the green eyes, the red hair I mean it's my position people that all of that is attributed to these animals not just these animals, other animals as well too and this is why you have the change from continent to continent to continent to continent to finally 
our Caucasian counterparts comes out with the red hair, the blue eyes, green eyes, and so forth and so with. It's because there's a genetic bridging with animals. Now, let's see what this artist has to say. This German artist is telling us the same thing that all of our famous artists that created the same images are telling us. That there was a genetic manipulation in the time of the Garden of Eden. I'm telling you that this is a representation that there's sexual implications, meaning that of with semen and with blood, and basically what's happening here is there was a breakdown in genetics, and it's always confirmed. All you have to do is look at the image, and then look at the landscape. I'm going to point out two things here, two very, actually about three or four things to be totally honest with you. Alright, what are they doing? I'm telling you that there was an exchange of blood and semen. How can I prove that? How can I take you into that painting and prove that? I can pretty much tell by the clothing that this elderly gentleman, if you want to call him God or you want to call him whatever you want to call him, I don't, I don't care, saying I don't care what you want to call him. You know what I mean? There was, a, there was an exchange, a genetic bridging. How can I prove that to you? How can I take you back in time to show you that that happened? Well, it's more easy than you think. It's almost like a time machine. I can take you back to see how that happened. First of all, all you have to do is look at him have his robe pulled around to the point to where it's at his penis. Adam is at his penis with his hands clutching. I mean, Eve is not doing anything here. I mean, her hands out. So Adam could, I mean, in some cases, Adam um, Gentiles in some um, images are exposed. So, what are they stating? They're saying genetically, they were genetically bridged over in a homosexual way. Well, you saying, Jerome, how the hell can you see all of that from just that? Well, back then, people, the only way that genetics could be exchanged were through an oral exchange. There was no intravenous, I mean, no intravenous um, um, devices at that point so from the beginning of time there was an engagement through oral and I mean which were oral acts which were basically sexual through blood and through semen this is why in the Roman days, this is, and in the ancient biblical days, this is why you have all of this nudity and the implications of sexual behaviors. So, again, that's not enough to show you, to prove to you. There's got to be more to show you that, hey... This actually occurred. Well, all right, I said, look at the landscape. More so in the founding stones of our, of, um, from, from which we evolved and which we were created. This is a 16th century painting. Back then in the 16th century, they hit a lot of images in the rocks. So let's take a look at the rocks. What do you say? Or what do you want me to help you say? Um, let me get a... Hang in there with me. I'm going to get a pen so I can... Oh, yeah, I have one right here. Let me mark this for you. Oh, no. This one is going to be too thick. 
Look at the rocks, people. Can you see anything before I start drawing on it? show you um should I draw on there first well let me let me let me take the pencil and outline it because I know drawing upside down is not going to get me anywhere here um yeah I guess I can draw upside down this because this stands out a lot first of all let's take the god figure I'm going to bring him to the rocks I'm going to bring him up here and show you what he's telling you that he's doing. Remember I said that he's collecting his penis for, or this area of his penis for a reason? Alright, let me show you. I'm at the back at his butt area of his robe. There's the front part of his robe there. Um, what is this, his arm? There's the his waistband of his robe right in here. And this is his arm area right there. And I got this screwed up here. This would be is would be hair right there. Here is his head. Okay. Do you do you see that right there? Alright, now his body is in the rocks. So where are they at? Adam and Eve. Well, they are here together, band together. In a genetic union, which is symbolized here as that of an angel. Let me see where. Here's the arm, the outstretched arm, robe of the angel. This is creates the arm. And I'm no, no, I'm sorry. Hold on, is that the angel's wing? All right. Well, here's the head here. There's the head, and this is the face right there. Can you, can you see that? And these create. Can you see that, people? Oh, yeah. That is the um. The, um, the what you call them, like the, um, the the robe from the arm. You know, you ever see that the big arm, the arm, the sleeves, that's what that's creating right there. And these will create the wings. There's one and there's, and there's the other. Now, you have to know what this actually means in order to even understand what is actually being happening, happening here. Representing that these two touched by angels. But I, I'm going to say that. But, I mean, it's more to it than just that, to be totally honest with you, okay? So, we have a representation of these two here. The elderly gentleman, which we want to believe is God. So, we have this image here, up here now, shown in the rocks. Now, I said that there was an implication of that of something sexual there with the penis. If you look there in the rocks, here is the penis that shown exchanged between the two. Now, you're wondering. What's going on here? Well, the penis is bridged over Let me give an eye here There is an eye uh, I just took away from the white of the eyes. When you Google this image you will actually see a white in the eye The penis 
is shown. And can I draw this out? There's a nostril. There's a nostril. And I'm trying to get that. But if you look at that, can you see that creature right there? I wonder if you can. You see what I just drew there? The penis is laid over the head of that of a creature, a reptile, a reptilian creature, which imp implies the genetics which were created down here. Now, we have the male figure, which is a representation of God, the angelic figures, which is a representation of these two, the penis, which is being implied through these two characters crutching, I mean, um, um, clutching their crouches, and the reptilian being, which is a representation of our ancient dinosaur ancestors, which is here, compounded with other things. Now, they can't show you a, an angel implying in sexual innuendos because down here because that would be huh, that would be unacceptable wouldn't it but then why are they showing this to us here in the rocks no, this German artist is showing it to us here in the rocks now I can do this with just about any artist painting by the way to you people now now let me if you look into the landscape similar images are there just tougher to say they're multi-dimensional images people this is a technique that was taken from all of our ancient ancestors that was and you know those journeys I like to call them the explorations of the uh, conquistadors of our British um, armies earlier on those caves and, and these areas that they invaded this information is what actually came from there before it was all destroyed and then later on as other religious sex came they utilize the information that they had stolen from every each and every continent and put their own twist on it I can take you back all of the artifacts that was stolen the ancient artifacts that were stolen globally from Africa from um, from the ancient Maya world from e from Egypt from everywhere that our our royalty and ancient religion went where these artifacts ended up at through theft and so-called overthrowing of governments and and cult groups it's amazing how these people that came before us, our ancestors, were practicing supposedly cult when their religions were before that of what we are practicing in religion today. So how is it that a group of people came, or groups of people, came after our ancestors, which originally were that of African, or ape, African, and then right on down the line, how is it that now they're charged with practicing cult? And what we are being taught today, in so much as far as religion, is okay. It's always been my position, and I'm not into religion at all, but it's always been my position that our first ancestors, which would have been eight, okay, African and down throughout, it would always be my position that whatever the true first man, the, or the, I mean, that was created, whatever it is that they were practicing and believed, is what is actually what it's supposed to be reality I don't care if they were worshiping a stone a rock if our first 
ape ancestor in in in, 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 in intelligence in an intelligent mind believed that a rock was that of God then that's what it should have been from the beginning how was it changed how did it come to this this is nothing but in my mind later religion is nothing but stolen religion from the continent I mean after traveling and and, 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 and going through our world tra traveling and stealing the gold the diamonds the knowledge the understanding all the, f throughout the world and the people that are guilty of all of this it's in history now I'm not trying to teach you anything I'm not I'm just trying to bring sense and reality to what is being what is I mean what is here let me give this guy his oh I did give him his head right there when you Google this image, you'll see the body. You'll see all of that. See the body of the angel now and see all of that? And the head is in, there's the hairline. The head is is in there, right there. The head would be right here. Alright? So, we have what is being insinuated here, right there. Now, because I know what angels and aliens are, I could read into this more, but I'm not going to do so at this at this present time. I'm going to let that go, okay? But I can tell you that you can look at the landscape and you can see the heads of the creatures that are being implied if you look closely at the landscape. Okay, you can look to see what is here in the landscape. If you look close, there's multi-dimensional images there. I want to take you to something else about this image. Then yeah, I'm going to close out. Here, it's my position that mankind was bridged over these creatures. Now, I'm showing you at this level what's being implied okay now let's come down here I'm gonna bring you over here to this fox because you notice that in a lot of these images you see horses you see horses reared up you see unicorns and you see um, 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 lions and rams and all of this stuff going on birds which by the way people we got you wouldn't believe that we I can I can show you well I, I think I, I mentioned in the vid, video that this is how we're even able to speak is through these creatures but I, I can tell you that a little later on and I know which specific creatures being implied that gave us our speech but anyway let's go right there okay here there's an implication that there is a fish there and uh, like a lizard, like like a um, I forgot, like a like a, a what you call them, dragon? I forgot what you call, it, but slash fish right here. And his eye is right at the forehead, at the cranial line of the of the um, what is the promoter dragon? It looks like that slash fish. And even with the lips, people look. I'm gonna. I can't, this pen is a little bit big. The fish even has lips. If you look closely, right there. Right there at the head of the fox. Right there. It even has lips. If you look at it, you'll see the, 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 um, the lips of this thing. Okay? Now, what else is there? Now, if I can do this, I gotta, might have to bring this up to... Uh, there's a cat emerging from the ground. I'm going to have to take this up for a minute. What else is there? Oh, there, there it is right there. There's a cat right there. There's the head of the cat with his mouth open. Can you see that? There's his paw right there. And there's his body. Let me see if I can draw that now that I actually see that. All right.
there is a cat right here emerging from the ground turn I'm coming over his head coming around his nose there's his mouth open mouth there's his neck turned back right there and it's Paul am I doing this right yeah okay and his paw is extended out this way right there showing you that that guy genetically is emerging from the ground where else is this at there well this is also in this depiction of the garden of eating because here Adam is sitting on the head of that same cat, a spotted leopard, and a bunch of mutations right here under Adam's butt, showing you that the spotted leopard is what genetically altered mankind genetically and gave and created such likenesses. Now you're probably saying, "Well, where's the cat at, Jerome?" Well, look, there's the spotted leopards. Paul right there and it's showing you how the genetics were created over here and it shows you other creatures which and you remember that fish I told you about here and it's showing you that the hippo emerging and, and the hippo on the fish right there there's the head of the hippo there's the fish you see that you see these creatures here showing you that these genetics were created there and it's showing you what emerged and calls for the genetic bridging of that of ape African man to genetically create these likenesses of um of Eve and Adam genetically and this is what the Garden of Eden is all about genetic manipulation the fish and the cat I mean the, the, the fish I mean the fish presence the reptilian presence and the cats and the same thing people is right there. 16th century. I don't even know what century this is. And always it shows you that the creature that's being referenced is that of the ape. And it always shows you the witch like woman. You see that witch like woman's face right there? There's her eye there. That's her right eye. There's her. No, that's her left eye. That's her right eye. Um, right eye. There's her nose. There's her mouth. And there's an image of an ape right there. At her, at her, let me draw it. The ape is... Hold on. Let me get that ape. I showed this to you in a video. you got to see my video on this, people. The image of the ape is right here. Alright. I'm going to draw it out for you right quick. Let me see if I can do that without messing this up. Uh, can I draw this upside down? Possibly not. All right, let me give you. I'm gonna draw that ape out for you right quick, since I brought it up. Oh gosh, can I do it? It's extremely. Now that I've been seeing the damn. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. I'm glad I didn't try to draw this upside down. The ape is in the horse's mane. I have a video on this. I don't want to go back with this, but the witch-like woman is right there. You see her face right there, the witch? Oh, right here. And there's the ape in the mane of the horse. Forehead, nostrils, mouth, all that right there. Showing you that these creatures were genetically bridged over. And you see the birds and stuff. Now check this out. How the gene that was created. I know what these genes are. All you pretty much have to do is just turn. Uh, hold on. Between the bird. Watch this while you. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. In fact, I see the head there. They show. I didn't even see that before. All right, but hold on. Let me show you this. I sh I have a video out on this. I don't know why I'm going back to this because now, you know, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this alone. Because I have a video out on this, and you'll see that it's, 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 
I mean, it's like me having to change the slide in my eyes to actually keep finding this stuff for you. Because they're multi-dimensional images that, that, um, that I have to readjust my eyes to. Let me, let me get off of that right quick. But I have a video. Go, go to my video on this here, on Adam and Eve, and you will actually see what I've actually unveiled over here in this corner. But anyway, there's the body of that of a cat right here Adam is sitting on his head showing you he's genetically and him and Eve is bridged over that cat and it's showing you the paw of the cat up in the air right there okay the same thing that's actually being stated here now it's my position that each and every artist with referencing the Garden of Eden is stating the same exact thing here's another Renaissance art and this is created by who 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 uh, uh, it doesn't show here. I don't even have who this is by. Another image of the Garden of Eden. There's a cat. Oh, you know what I didn't do? There's a cat. Look at these genetics with the rabbit. Okay? And now I'm going to show you something that you don't see. You see that cat? Adam and Eve is bridged over the cat shows the reptilian presence of the snake this rock if you look closely at it is the body of this cat showing you that now genetically they're carrying and bridged over the founding stone which is that of ape and black man the cat is bridged over you don't see it All right, I'm gonna draw this out for you real quick look at this I was already drawing out some Here's the hind quarter part of the cat, the leg, right there. This part, which is the back of the cat, uh, here's the cat's butt, the cat's tail coming around, spliced. There's the tail coming around, see that? Snaking around, it comes into a head of a snake. You see that right there? There's the cat's tail. Here's the cat's um, torso, right here. And we're at the cat's front, about the head area. And we're coming over to the head right there. It creates the body of the cat morphing that of the rock. Can you see the cat there now, people? This is his stomach area, hind quarter leg, tail. Here's the front of the body. Here's the split at the chest area right here. This, well, hold on, where are we at here? Right, where's that line at? That line right there. Is a split at the chest area, separating the, the the two front legs, and the head is morphed up in there. You see that? The same exact thing. That's right there. Them sitting on the rock, showing you that there is a cat, the spotted leopard, that calls for that genetic altering at that specific time of the Garden of Eden. This is why that cat is there, letting you know that they were genetically bridged over, well, Africans were genetically bridged over, which calls for the subsequent changing and likenesses of them. Now check this out. Notice that the hair now it shows Eve giving the apple. Now you, you notice the hair of Adam, genetically black in color at that point. Notice that? That tells you specifically from which continent that this actually occurred. Hard to believe, isn't it? And through the creatures that was utilized. Shows you. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else. Here. Well, and it shows you what genetics actually what shows you in this painting. This artist shows that Eve's giving Adam her genetics. And in later images, you'll see that Adam's hair is the same color as that of Eve's. Meaning that she genetically altered him. That's what giving him the apple was, the red apple. Okay changing him genetically. Alright? 
because she was bridged over, then he was bridged over. Did you get that? Now look down in the rocks and look at the faces that emerges in these rocks. Each and every image of Adam and Eve tells us the same story. Now, I just did an image of with this, with the expulsion, and the same exact thing before the image was altered. There's a snake encrypted. Uh, right there in the vine. The head of a, the, the head of a snake. But more importantly is the fact that there's a line. Now this, this image was changed. So called restored. But look at the head of the line right there in the rock. There's the eye. There's the head. Look, look at the face of the line. Did I draw this out in any way? I did not draw this out. But there's a head of a line, which is right here. I'm going over the top of the head. The eye would be up in here. Can you see that, people? There is a transparent image in the rocks that forms the head of a line. A cat. And there's other images, too. A dinosaur here. Apes. And this is the reason why, now, it was restored. So if you look at the before and after images, you'll see the transparent images, even in, even in the clothing. This shows you the bloodlines from which were altered and what Adam and Eve were sent away from the Garden of Eden with. Genetically altered. See my video on that as well, too, people. I have a video on it. Um, Titian, a Titanian, a Titian, the artist, the same exact thing. Images of apes in the tree. Here's a person here. A genetic mutation. There's images of apes all in, in, encrypted in this in this um in this greenery down here in this landscape. And even at the fox, there's the fox again over here. Where's that fox at? It's the same exact thing. Right here. And there's images of apes and everything else and showing you a genetic bridging. And this is by famous artist um Titanian or Titian. And there's other stuff in the landscape too. I mean, but every, each and every ancient image of the Garden of Eden, now this here is less telling, but this is an older image and it gives you the idea of actually what's being said. That Man and woman in this image bridged over the tree of life and these creatures contributed genetically. Reptilian, these land creatures, and they bridged over our African ancestors to create a new gene, genetic. They branched off the tree of life. Tree of life? I'm broken off a branch. I'm a broken off branch of the tree of life. I'm a broken off branch of the tree of life. And these are the creatures that genetically contributed. Not just them, but their whole ancestral history within in the evolution these genes now look at the hair of these beings and the eyes of these beings in relations to our cats and the creatures that I'm describing look at this 
in a lot of our biblical times, look at St. Jerome. Every time you Google St. Jerome, uh, a Renaissance artwork with St. Jerome, St. Jerome is with this creature. You know why? Because his hairy ass came genetically from this, this creature, the likeness of this creature. St. Jerome is wearing the hide of lions. Look, go back to our ancient Mayan days. The, 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 the hides and stuff that these people are being painted and shown depicted with, and these creatures that they're shown with, wearing their skins, they're saying that we are genetically covenant with the blood and the semen of these creatures. And that's the same thing that Adam and Eve is saying. People, you have been had. These earlier explorers of our world went and stole ancient history, came back and bottled it up and sold it to you in the form of religion. Globally. Globally. I don't care who you are, what religion you practice. The story can be taken down and broken down the same exact way. It's just that everybody put their sick twist on it. And then what's sad about all of this is that there is one religious group that's neutral, that can cross all boundaries, break all rules, and is the main cross-referencing center of it all. And that's the Vatican. They are the only ones that cross all, bar all barriers. All barriers. Are these genetic lines, these, these genetic lines of divide, these gen are, are war barriers. All of these barriers that we have that was created, you know why? Because they created them. That's why. They created these barriers and then stand, created all of these enemies against each other and then made themselves the mutual foe of them, I mean, the, the mutual party of them all. I mean, if the President of the United States was to go over and parade down um, the streets of, of, um, of Cuba, our world nations would be upset with him. Even our, our world's people, well, how in the world can you do that? That's a communist place. That's a communist country. But yet, if the Pope does it, which he has done in the past, just in our recent past, in his Pope mobile, it's okay because it's holy, it's godly, it's divinely. You see, you get the message, people? But yet, Christianity, this Pope represents a vast part of the United States. Because all, probably close to 80, 70, 80 percent. Is that of Christians in the U.S.? And just not just the U.S. globally, everywhere. I mean, this people, this is this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm telling you, this is bullshit. Now, what brings me to that is that look at the faces in the rock here, people. Can you see those faces in the rock? Look at that. You see some of my highlights? Look at this. You can see the faces of creatures, can't you see? Look at this. Look at it. Um, where we at here? Um, right there. Look at look at between Adam's leg and that rock right there. Look at the discolored in the discolored areas. Look at the faces of these creatures, which they're telling you that they were genetically bridged over. Look, you see the look at mouth, nose, eye. Can you see the head there? You see that? All of these creatures and mutations. If you look, you see the mutated faces of creatures that were actually created from this. When I look at this, I can see, I mean, the things that I can see in this are just phenomenal. The multi-dimensional faces. I can see the ape. I can see the baboon. I can see all of this. I see Africans. I see, I mean, when I look at this, I look beyond it. I can see our ancestors. I'm genetically... And, and mentally linked to this stuff in, in a spiritual way that is beyond imagination. Look at this, people. This is the reason why I can see these images so easily. 
Look at the body and the hindquarters of the um, of the um, of the hair here, the rabbit. Look at the faces. The morphine faces. These genetics. This is this is this is this is bizarre. This is really bizarre. And what's really bizarre about it is that it's not out there and accepted in a way that it actually should be accepted. You know what I mean? Now, I'm going to go back to this German artist. And I'm going to take... Because uh, the Garden of Eden is is, 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 is just... is gone. It's gone now. It's gone. Let's go back to this image. This is where I, what started this all. My rant about what's going on here. All right. Let me bring this back up to the Garden of Eden. This is a German artist. Now, by the way, two people, Adolf Hitler was genetically altering Germany. Remember he was talking about the superior race and all of that? I can tell you which genes that he was tampering with. You know why? Because Salvador Dali has it in one of his paintings. Yep. And in his painting called The Enigma of Hitler. The Enigma of Hitler. Salvador Dali boastfully shows what genes Hitler was playing with. Now you're probably saying, well, that don't mean nothing, Jerome. Yes, it does, too. Because Salvador Dali is linked, if you were to look at my videos, to that of the Vatican. Salvador Dali had, is a key factoring point in genetic manipulation and alterings that have happened globally. Salvador Dali is equivalent to a saint. Not in the sense of being that into the church, but his genetic contribution to altering that of the man of, of the genetics of mankind through the assistance of the Vatican. It's all referenced in his paintings. Salvador Dali was an extension of the a genetic extension of the Vatican. Salvador Dali, under the orders of the Vatican, went out and genetically contaminated continents of our world. It's in his paintings. It's a record. Shows what he done. What he did on his visits to Africa, his visits to China. Even has he boastfully um, um to Egypt. Genetic contamination. My name is Jerome Wright. I started out with this Lucas Crash Deer altar painting of the Garden of Eden. You look at the top level in the rocks, you will see these characters here bridged over each other here, and they're showing you with a penis. And then they're showing you which genetics they were bridged over, ancient genetics they were bridged over, or reintroduced to. It's my position that every 400 plus years, four to 500 plus years, you can, they can go back, and they can, they can not go back. They can genetically change what was previously done. There's an incubation period for each time that these genes have been touched. I've been altered. And this is what this is all about. The return of all of these people so adamant about coming back. Genetically, their, their, their genetics are being awakened in their body. These popes, let's take for example, um, for, for uh, as this is, um, let's take a dead pope. Uh, what is, which one is dead? What is it, John Paul or John, um, Pope John Paul or something? In 400 plus years genetically between what he genetically contaminated he can return genetically in those that he actually contaminated genetic manipulation because they know how to genetically alter themselves and the people around them you know they hand you that piece of bread communion talking about the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus with the wine, all of that stuff, people, 
these things genetic contamination what is more in reality of being that of being something in of caught nature than that someone putting something in your mouth and talking about the body of somebody that piece of bread contaminated with the semen of these clowns that wine that you so called drinking contaminated with the blood of these clowns through these cult rituals sick cult rituals start looking at this stuff for what it is if you got a head of a dinosaur there start looking I mean they tell you that you can't see that start looking at this stuff for what it is if there's a head of a dinosaur there start looking into the landscapes and seeing this stuff for what it truly is heads of lizards and dinosaurs our ancestors bridged over where we at here I'm doing this upside down you have to start looking at this stuff for what it truly is people um, let me see what we at here let me get a tooth here somewhere let me get a tooth right there somewhere Start looking at this stuff for what it truly is. Let's put a tooth there. Start looking at this and let's give a nose right there for what this stuff truly is. It's insinuating that our ancient reptilian ancestors there's a face on the front of here. Let's put a face on there. Let's look at... Oh, I just screwed that up. Let's look at this stuff for what it truly is. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And the Garden of Eden is a reference of how mankind was genetically bridged over that of our ape, African ancestor. And these creatures which we are not supposed to see shows how it was all done what is being stated here is shown up here and it's an insinuation of genetically being bridged over with semen and blood and these are contributing ancestral um, ancestors that help make that change and each and every reference famous reference of the Garden of Eden is a similar has similar encryptions to what this is the same stating the same thing this German artist Lucas Kranich der Altier is telling us the same exact thing that Rembrandt has is telling us here in America um, that Michelangelo is telling us that um, Leonardo da Vinci is telling us um, that Door is telling us um, some of the later artists Salvador Dali, Bernini all, all of these artists are all telling us the same exact thing how mankind genetically altered themselves from their African origins from, the, from their Asian origins to coming becoming through is from evolving from that of our blackest state to our whitest state and that's what this, these images are about that's what's being stated my name is Jerome Wright you're watching my Jeronification channel and the Garden of Eden is no more mystery no more mystery what I'm doing here I can do globally on every continent with artwork 
um, I can take us in space and I can show you what heaven is all about I can show you what hell is all about I am paranormally linked to all of this and this is my true story thank you for watching share this with someone else